Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Baskin at Big Cat Rescue. Once a month we have a safety drill or safety tips and this one was from Gail but it was so pertinent to all of us who are struggling with the heat right now. As summer temperatures hit, here are several important tips. Drink enough water to prevent thirst. Monitor fluid loss by checking the color of your urine. It should be pale yellow and not dark yellow, not too smelly or cloudy. Sorry for starting off your day with this. For short duration, less than 60 minutes, low to moderate intensity activity, water is a good choice to drink before, during, and after exercise. After time, any time you exercise in extreme heat or for more than one hour, supplement water with a sports drink that contains electrolytes and 6% to 8% carbohydrates. This prevents hypotremia which is low blood sodium, which dilutes your blood and could also lead to serious impairment and death. Begin exercise well hydrated. Drink plenty of fluids the day before and within the hour before, during, and after your exercise session. Avoid alcohol the day before or the day of a long exercise bout and avoid exercising with a hangover. Well, here at Big Cat Rescue, since we're working out there in the heat every day, that would mean no alcohol ever. (laughs) Consider all fluids, including tea, coffee, juices, milk, and soups, though excluding alcohol, which is extremely dehydrating. The amount of caffeine in tea and coffee does not discount the fluid in them, even if they have a slight diuretic effect, according to the most recent report by the National Research Council's Food and Nutrition Board. Eat at least five cups of fruits and vegetables per day for optimum health as they contain various levels of water and the all-important nutrient potassium. During exercise, for those who experience high sodium losses like Howie who screams with cramps all the time, eat salty foods in a pre-exercise meal or add an appropriate amount of salt to sports drinks consumed during exercise. Orange juice is high in potassium. Dilute juices such as V8 or orange juice 50-50 with water. That sounds gross. Divide it 50-50 with water so that the drinks are 6% carbohydrate solutions, the same as sports drinks which will empty your stomach quicker than 100% juice. Juices are naturally 12% solutions, allowing the electrolytes and water to quickly reach your heart and organs. Following strenuous exercise, you need more protein to build muscle, carbohydrates to refuel muscle, electrolytes to replenish what's lost in sweat, and fluids to help rehydrate the body. Low-fat chocolate milk is perfect. Oh, I love that is a perfect natural replacement that fills those requirements. I bet Gail made that up. You can also replace fluid and sodium losses with watery foods that contain salt and potassium, such as soup and vegetable juices. For long hikes, when you need food, dried fruit and nut mixtures contain high amounts of potassium, sodium, protein, carbs, and calories, though you still need to continue to drink plenty of water. To determine your individualized need for fluid replacement, during heavy exercise, weigh yourself immediately before and after exercise. If you see an immediate loss of weight, you've lost valuable water. Drink three cups of fluid for every lost pound. Use this figure to determine the amount of water or sports drink that you need to drink before and during your next exercise session to prevent weight water loss in the future. Thank you for all those tips, Gail. And thank you for being a fan of Big Cat Rescue. You can see all of our updates at bigcatrescue.org. Follow us on all of the social channels at Big Cat Rescue, except TikTok where we are at bigcatrescue.org, and on Snapchat where we are at Big Cat Rescue Were. Stay cool.